Well, we're at it again with Footy on Nine season previews today. It's Collingwood. I'm joined again by Nathan Brown. Brownie, it's been a case of nearly but not quite for Collingwood in the past few years. It is, and they're still very much in that premiership window at the moment. They continue to put themselves in there. Um, look, last year, I think they had excuses. They had a lot of injuries. Players who didn't play full seasons, they had a few suspensions. Um, and then they got GWS on an awful night where it was just raining and GWS were playing out of their skin. So um, they, they just faltered at the last hurdle last year, Collingwood. I expect them to be back up there. They've been pretty busy during the trade period in recent years, a bit quieter this time, of course, as they try to lock away their own stars. They got Darcy Cameron in from Sydney, who's a backup to Brodie Grundy and Mason Cox. They lose a couple of guys, a couple of depth players, but nothing too much there. But in terms of looking forward to season 2020, can you see them contending again? I can, I can. Uh, they lose James Aish, but what uh, people got to think about, that they didn't bring a lot in, but they didn't have players play all games last year. Dugowie missed some footy. Darcy Moore missed a fair bit of football. Stevenson was obviously out. Um, Jamie Elliott didn't play a full season. You got Langdon, Sharon Berg, all these players. There's probably eight players um, who didn't play full season. So if they can get those players back in playing regular football like they were the year before, I think they played better year the year before in 2018. Uh, I think they are a force to be reckoned with this year. Well, a couple of guys you touched on, Darcy Moore and also Jordan Go, who had their injury troubles last year. They're also out of contract. So they've re-signed Grundy for that massive seven years. Yep. Do you think they can get those other deals done firstly? And then what does it mean for their season? Is it going to hang over their head, do you think? It's always going to hang over their head, but uh, you've got to ask yourself, am I the type of player who can deal with putting that off and, and having the footy world talk about it? I've got no doubt these two blokes are. I don't think too much bothers Darcy Moore. I think he's the sort of player who just uh, rolls with it and he'll get the job done, and I think he'll stay at Collingwood. The same thing Jordan Dugowie. I think Jordan Dugowie plays more footy, better footy, and I think he's more attractive as a player when people are talking about him. I think I think he loves the limelight. And I, I don't think he'll mind people talking about his contract negotiations, but I just don't think Collingwood is a club that you leave these days. It's 2020. They're a massive club. I just can't see them leaving Collingwood. Question without notice, would you have given Brody Grundy seven years? Uh, I think so, yeah. Brodie Grundy, best ruckman in the competition. I think uh, seven years is quite well, well earned. They've got a unique forward line, don't they? Because they've got some tools down there, but they're a little bit different. They've got Mason Cox, they've got Brodie Majacek, but then they've got Dugowie, who almost plays as that key forward. Yeah, and in 2018, they had, I think it was about six or seven players who all kicked 30 and above goals. I think Hoskin Alley kicked 46, Dugowie kicked 48. All those dropped off about 30% last year. And I thought that was the difference in Collingwood from 2018 to 2019. They weren't as big on scoring. Um, and obviously Mason Cox injured at the end of the year. But he didn't have as good a year as what he did the year before as well. So if they can get that forward line up and flying again, Jamie Elliott comes back in, obviously. Um, I think it is a very, very potent forward line. Brody Majacek, I love the way he plays. I mean, he's probably only six foot one, but he plays tall, he plays small, he doesn't miss when he gets his opportunity. And then you've got the unknown with Ben Reid. Can Ben Reid get back to where he was a few years ago? Wonderful player, great talent. Does he play forward? Does he play back? Uh, we'll wait and see. But I think Collingwood have got enough forwards to kick a winning score. Is, is that forward line still the one question mark? I guess they've settled that defence now with Moore being a little bit fitter and also Jordan Ruffhead really coming in and playing well. Is, it, is the forward line the, the, the only question mark that you've got? I think it is because they bat deep in the midfield. Um, we don't know where Dane Beams is going to be, obviously, so we'll, we'll count him as not being in that midfield. So they've got a great midfield group. The forward end, it clicked in 2018, and a lot of, a lot of people didn't see that Collingwood forward line playing the way it did. Clubs go to town on them, clubs do their homework. And then last year, I think they just put a little bit more pressure on uh, the Collingwood assets up there. Mason Cox, for me, uh, is the link in that forward line. If he can be the tall player that stands there, brings the ball to ground, kicks his goals himself, rather than being a liability, I think they can be in premiership contention. Well, let's get to who the pressure is on the most in season 2020. Is it Mason Cox or have you got someone else? No, it is. It is Mason Cox. And I love the story. I love what he's done. And I mean, for me, he's either unbelievable or he's not so great. He's a very good team player, the little tap-ons and all that sort of stuff. So what Collingwood and Nathan Buckley will tell you, when Mason Cox doesn't play well, what he brings to the football club. But at the end of the day, you can only have so many games where you're not impacting the scoreboard. So for me, Mason Cox needs to have a massive year for Collingwood to win the Premiership. Well, they've still got plenty of young talent beneath their star power and, and plenty of players who could improve in season 2020. Who have you got as your big improver? Well, who I liked at the end of last year was Callum Brown. I love the way he moved. He's fit. He's 
fast, he's feisty, he's tackle pressure, and he's very clean, very clean with his hands. And I think he is going to be developed into more of a... I mean, he's been an in and under player so far. He's put a lot of pressure on. I think he's going to develop more than that this year. I think he's going to play, he gets the ball, he runs and carries, he links up, and he kicks goals. So for me, he's the big improver. The question all Pies fans will be keen to know, where have you got them? I've got them finishing fourth or fifth. I think they can make top four. They're going to be around the mark again. They're going to have a crack at the premiership. Can that forward line kick enough goals? That's the big question, Mark. We'll find out in season 2020. For more of Footy on Nine season previews, wideworldofsports.com.au and Nine Now.